We got a big old happy dog family. Three hours. Oh my gosh. Uh, wait for another hour and then we'll take these off and wrap them. They've got a nice little bark, open bark on them so far. It's actually kind of pretty with the cotton flying around. It's so determined to cut the frog. <laughs> Finally got the shop empty. It's still a mess, as it probably always will be. I got a cooler full of a brisket. We're gonna let that defrost the rest of the way. Look, we got one, two, three, four barbecues. Five, there's another bigger one in there. I have uh, done a couple of practice smokes in here. I did ribs the second day we had this, and then I did, I've already done a brisket. I didn't record any of those because it was just practice and I knew they were going to turn out like crap. But I made some modifications to this grill since getting it. First one is, is I, I lined all of this with brick down here. Now some people put tin foil on here, but I really don't care how dirty these bricks get. They're just going to be barbecue bricks. They're fine. What else did I do? I changed this firebox a little bit. I'll show you guys how I start a fire here in a little bit. I'm going to start uh, cleaning this out and actually getting the fire ready to start here because we got another very large brisket to make for tomorrow afternoon. And I'm going to start it today so I'm not under the gun tomorrow when it's time to serve brisket. Also, check out the size of this cutting board. That'll fit a whole brisket on it for sure. Oh, yeah. I ruined Audrey's cutting board and so she ordered one for herself <laughs> and then another one for me so I can ruin this one. But we didn't get white, we got browns. So it doesn't get full of barbecue stains right away. Hell yeah. Here's how I've been setting up my firebox for this thing since a charbroil. It's like a 70, 80 pound grill. Definitely not the nicest one on the market, but I've never been a guy that can afford the nicest things of anything on the market. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make really good barbecue for years with this thing. And if not, I got backups. So we're gonna start a little bit of fire right now. I have this right here, which is really good for heating up charcoal, but honestly, I found the best way to start some charcoal. Look at these bags of charcoal I have here. My little wood section over here is getting pretty impressive. We're just gonna take a, a small handful of Kingsford, which is the good stuff. I'm just gonna make a small pile here. You really only need three to five pieces of charcoal. This stuff lights really easily with a torch. Less than like a minute or two is all I have to sit here and hold this for. This charcoal will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes to get real hot and I'll just throw some lump charcoal on top of that and that's going to be the base for my fire in here. It takes about an hour to start, just like any other barbecue. You gotta start planning ahead if you're going to cook anything. All right, it's been less than 10 minutes and that charcoal is already lit. You can see I'm getting a little bit of heat off of it. Smoking, it doesn't have to be white hot. I filled this guy up full of some lump charcoal here so we're just going to start the bed pour all that in there like so and that right there is going to be the start of my charcoal bed so we're going to let that light and get real hot and then i'm going to dry some of this wood so i have a couple of piles i have a, a pile of some dry wood started and this is almost dry wood so i cut all this up from some oak that we had here the other day and andre went and got me one of these guys which is a moisture pen there, take some readings of the wood. Let me do this in a way that I can actually read it here. Yeah, so we got 10 and a half percent there. That's pretty good. I gotta go back through all these pieces of wood. I'm gonna actually turn this smoker into a kiln today. We're gonna stack some wood in here, all nice and pretty. I'm gonna start a small fire in there. I'm gonna get this up to about 150 degrees for like four or five hours and we're gonna dry the rest of this out and get it so it's ready to smoke just like that we got our coal bed going so i can go ahead and shut this now i'm gonna throw a couple of pieces from here into here so i can get these chunks of wood start to dry out just turn out some charcoal here and some bits of the light there's some really cheap walmart charcoal it's the most garbage garbage charcoal that i've ever garbage it's not good let's take a couple of Pump full of that, and throw it in there. Another pump full. Should work. And now I'm gonna take some more lump charcoal. And then I'm gonna throw it in there to dry everything out. Close this box. Let that start heating up. This guy, we got a lot of heat to make in here. 
I got some oak that I want to put in here. I'm gonna choose a good chunk here. So I'm gonna do with this one. I'm gonna put it all the way back there. Of course, I didn't get any video of us putting the brisket on, but I promise it's in there. We're cooking up at about 275, 280 up here, which means that down at the grate, I'm about 225, 230. That's perfect. I want to bring that brisket up slowly. I also got some chicken up here on the top rack that we're going to do. And the chicken is getting done at 275, 280. So in two hours, I'll flip all that chicken and we'll see how that brisket looks. I'm going to pull up the top of the grate. This is the brisket oh, no. Right there. We got our very own double rainbow and doggos. About 8 o'clock this morning, I finally got the brisket to get up to about 190, and it's been in here since then. It's what, 1 to 2 o'clock, a little after 2. So we're going to throw it to the grill now and finish it. I hate to tell you guys this, but you are never going to see the finished product of that brisket because I was up for 18 hours grilling that thing, and I was so delirious that I completely forgot to just record the finished product, and we ended up eating it. But that's okay because... It really just highlights the problems that I'm having with this cheap grill. Well, obviously this thing was really cheap and it is all so far from perfect. The problem that I'm having that I can pretty much walk you through right now is that because of the way this exhaust is set up for this smoker, it's not a big enough pipe and it's in the wrong spot. So when air comes into this box, it doesn't even really get to this part of the grill. This part of the grill is probably 50 to 60 degrees cooler than the thermostat on the top but this part of the grill right here is probably closer to 80 degrees cooler. It just doesn't get any heat on this. I'm gonna be trying to get really good at briskets and larger cuts of meat. And we do have a, a hog roaster here, but I don't feel like firing that up. I don't feel like firing this grill up for 18 hours, 20 hours every time I wanna grill a brisket. We actually bought quite a lot of just stuff from the hardware store this week. And I got a lot of stuff from Amazon coming and we've already done a couple of modifications that I'm not going to show you right now will be for another video But yeah, I know our, our channel is going through a lot of different transitions right now. We have everything from from sim racing content to You know like homesteading content and we're still trying to feed in some RV content and now I, I've just picked up a new hobby because I have more time and energy on my hands, but in the next couple of videos, I'm just going to be taking this barbecue completely apart and Frankensteining it and seeing if I can make this $30 barbecue perform like a much more expensive one. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps our channel. We're almost at a thousand subs and that's kind of been a goal point for our channel for forever. It's the reason why I'm growing my hair long. And if you want to see me get a haircut, we have to hit that thousand. We got to get monetized. So thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. All that stuff. Whatever. How do I end videos? Who knows?